you much. Item six, Kim. Item number six comes from County Council. <clears throat> I believe, Robin, you have a, uh, something you want to add to this or talk about, and we'll open it up. I did. I, <clears throat> in reviewing these services and discussing with the department, we realized that while this is project-specific, there's, uh, there are more projects in the pipeline as they come this direction for some of these eminent domain proceedings related to bridge or uh, large road projects. So we would propose uh, just a few word changes in paragraph one of the uh, adopted amendment in order to have with respect to clients various public works projects such as the project known as Silva Valley, uh, thereby authorizing my department to uh, continue to retain uh, the, the firm Myers Navi for for the various eminent domain projects that uh, uh, CDAA encounters. Okay, yeah, that was my concern. I mean, that this is something that's a fairly standard um, that we use uh, legal counsel for, and to single out any project when it could be a multitude of projects that are going on. And again, this county's not. And it has not, at least in, in my memory, uh, exercised eminent domain. And if we have, it's been very, very cautiously. But again, it's, I, it's I a last resort, actually. Yeah, I can't no. count on my hand one finger I don't recall. even. So anyway, that obviously would create some concern by singling out anything. But it, it is a tool that we have to have in the toolbox. So with that, uh, any comments or questions? Supervisor Mick? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Myers Nava. We we've used them before for things. So you mean to tell me that we've got to do another retainer? I mean, we I, we we've done some done a lot of work with Myers Nava. I'm I'm con confused about having to put them back on retainer again here. This is modifying the current retainer yeah. in order to continue to be able to have them as a as an expertise and resource and increased efficiencies for the time when we do need them. Um. It requires a four-fifths vote, so we're talking about a budget transfer, but it doesn't give the amount, and it doesn't say where it's from specifically. I haven't had a chance to dredge through this. Maybe we could just clear that up for the public. Typically, budget, usually budget transfers give an amount and where it's coming from. I guess it would depend on the project and the source of funding for the project. So, uh, this is just a general retainer. Is that what we're saying here? So we really don't have a kind of a defined yeah, amount here. May or may not be utilized. I would, like any other retainer that we have, if there's no work for it, it will not be utilized. Supervisor the, Frenzen. But, but, but if it changes the fund balance this year, or affects our budget next year we need to have that not to exceed amount well, absolutely but the fund balance for these projects is normally a, a, a specific high, highway fund or the federal funding or and, and maybe mr. Kalin could talk to it Th then it shouldn't require a four-fifth vote I, I don't know that answer okay John good morning board John Kaling Community Development Agency to answer your question the funding for the legal services will become coming from the funding for the project on which the legal services are used. So for example, on our HB Highway Bridge Program projects, the funding would come from that federal source. And if there's a local match, it'll be the 11.5% you know, local match, depending on whether or not the bridge is on system or off system. So if that were the case, it wouldn't be a general fund funded project and wouldn't require a four-fifths vote. So I think we're probably, are we wrong then? And no, I think we're at the point of belt and suspenders here, uh, okay. out of the abundance of caution with the future uh, ability to, uh, as projects arise and not knowing what future projects may have, uh, this would secure the ability to, to do that. So we wouldn't be back on a case-by-case -case basis if right. that circumstance arise? Yes. I, I don't understand. We either need a four-fifth vote or we don't. If it affects the general fund, we do. If it doesn't, we don't. You're saying, based on I understand, what I understand, is this is not going to affect the general fund. So why do we need a four-fifth? Not immediately. I think the four-fifths vote right. gives us gives right. them the latitude should that circumstance present itself. So, so if you're saying if you have a case that would require general fund, 
mm. we have the ability to to use it. it. Why can't we do it such way that when they do need it, they come back to the mm. board? Yeah, instead of a blank check. It, 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 I, I, it's like, yeah, thank you. It's, a, it's actually just to clarify, it's when you make a modification to the, the budget. So it's, it's not even just solely the general fund. So if you're moving money from one fund to another fund that's not, they do, it doesn't even have to be general fund, that's when it we require. Well, here's the auditor. He you have the answer. He, he's I the have all the answers. Yes, unrecognized uh, genius. My understanding, because there was some great litigation in this county uh, years and years ago, if the board's going to assign legal work to anyone other than the county council, it takes a four-fifths vote. This four-fifths vote has nothing to do with the California Budget Act. Thank you. That clears that up. And I support the item if that, I, I'm pretty much sure that shoots it down, but I support the item. <laughs> All right, any further questions? All right, members of the public wishing to speak to item six? Wanda. Good morning. Morning. And thank you for giving us the time to discuss this. Um, I want to welcome the new board members. I haven't had a chance to meet you all yet. Uh, the few that I, uh, Shiva, that I met was very pleasant, and thank you very much for your concern. Um, one of the problems with uh, that I have with this, I, well, first of all, it's very difficult for me to hear back there as you were discussing how it's going to work if you pass this as is or not. Um, but what I need to do is say right off the bat that apparently um, the one item on Newtown Road is the one that concerns me. I am one of the property owners there. Unfortunately, I represent more than just myself. Because of um, my background in fire service, a lot of the people have asked me to speak for them too. So apparently, um, I, what I need to do is let you know that. And also, one of the biggest problems on the project is the closing of the road. Um, Mr. Kaling and I have been discussing this, and it looks like we might be able to come to some kind of a, a hopefully a safe agreement that people will um, be able to feel comfortable with. But I believe that's in the future. So if the Newtown project could be taken off that proposal, I think the people in Newtown, Paso Way, Harmony Hill, they would feel a little more comfortable and that we could work on a proposal together. Um, what I did want to do, though, is because I don't know if the new members of the board have had an opportunity to research this particular project, and their concern is closing the road uh, at Newtown, which is a major fire evacuation route. And here's a list of all the parcels, and I've only gotten two-thirds of it done. Of all the red dots on these are the parcels of people that would be impacted in case of a wildfire that could not get out of their, par their properties to safety by closing the road. Um, we have been consulting with Cal Fire and the County Fire Department, and we are trying to work with the county on this, mm -hmm. but I think... Um, just to let you know, I'm not the only one, <laughs> but I am speaking for several. But, yeah, I mean, we're glad to work with everybody. I think it's been miscommunication, and so maybe we can work together on this. But I'd like to see that uh, part of the new town pulled off of that, pro off of that uh, proposal. And thank you very much. Thank you, Wanda. Any further public comment relative to item 6? Good morning, Evelyn Veer, Camp Placerville. In respect of possible property acquisition that would come in terms of eminent domain, um, there are three separate projects listed here. Could you tell us how many properties could conceivably be the subject of eminent domain on each of these projects? And um, assuming that the county found itself in the position of having to acquire one or more of these properties, would those properties also be paid for out of the project funds? 
Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Shall I sit down while you answer me or shall I stand while you answer me? I, I believe, Evelyn, uh, we answered the second part of that already, that any any cost relative to a project will be out of the project yeah, funds. I understood the litigation. I didn't understand that the oh, property sorry. acquisition was also covered by that. Yes, it is. So so everything, including acquisition, is covered by That's correct. federal funds. That's okay, correct. Great. And then as, as to how many projects, there's probably... No, not how many projects, how many properties. Well, okay. Let, let me just try to get to that. There's probably 20 plus projects in the works, I would say, out there in the county, whether it's the Coal Springs safety realignment or whatever they may be. Uh, and most of them, five, six, seven, eight potential uh, conflicts, if you want to call them that, uh, to, to be worked out through negotiations. So do the math, 40 plus, it's, it's hard to say. And again, eminent domain in this county is, is pretty much a, a, a word that doesn't get utilized, but we have to have that in the toolbox. Uh, one of the situations that I believe council alluded to it was a Civil Valley interchange, and uh, I shouldn't comment any more there, but you have to have this available to you. I was really only asking about the three projects which are listed on item number six. How many properties are involved there? I don't, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, but five to six to each one of them probably. And that's just based on what I know from other projects. And it depends on the length of the project and who the property owners are. So. Okay, so they haven't been identified yet. This determines the toolbox. That's all we're doing. Thank yeah. you. All right. Any further public comment relative to item six? So, Robin, did I hear your, you when you read your language for the item it was specifically spelling out Silver Valley Interchange and taking the other ones, other ones out. Or were you listing now four? No, just adding adding the language that makes those as exemplars and okay. other v projects similar. Okay. All right. What's the board pleasure? So to to make sure I understand, this is the contract that you're between county and that. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Uh, Chair, you're you're correct. We don't use eminent demo, uh, eminent domain as a as a first action. It is the absolute last action. We we go out of our way to avoid this and to and and, and to work through the process. In in. You know, we, we probably go above and beyond what we need to do at times because this is a last this is a last action of eminent domain. It's not something that, that we take lightly. It's not something that we look to impose every time we want to do something. And we, we make every effort to work with people and come up with fair solutions. But there comes times when we just, we've run out of options. Thank you. Okay. Council, do you want to say something? No, I would just. It, in my experience here with a with a road expansion, usually it's a proportional or fractional share of property. It's not a full uh, parcel. Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Friends, I'm sorry, Mike. Um, Robin, this is an important contract. Do you mind taking us to the verbiage and tell us exactly what you're replacing? Paragraph one. Section one entitled scope of services shall be amended to read. And all I did there was read that first sentence. Client hereby retains attorney to assist client with respect to clients, various public works projects, such as those commonly known as. Thank you. Right. Supervisor Renally. Um, if if uh, their questions are completed, I'm prepared to make or support a motion. All right, go ahead. Uh, move staff's item to retain and um, modify the agreement to support the legal services with the language change as proposed by county council. Got a motion. Do we have a second? All right, we have a second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimously approved. Thank you very much.